Five years ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a to realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day. Using all their senses, skills, creativity, they're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, I only have eight days left to complete my final mission. The last mission is the King of Iron Chef's Tournament. Last week, we had the first battle. Iron Chef Chinese Chen versus Iron Chef Italian Kobe. And the result was... 5-0, Chen dominated. Today we shall have the second battle. Iron Chef Japanese Morimoto versus Iron Chef French Sakai. Which one will qualify to do battle with Chen? So now, you two Iron Chefs, to celebrate the grand finale of the Kitchen Stadium, I demand an all-out battle.日本の料理史に刻まれる。キッチンスタジアム最後の戦い。それが最強鉄人決定戦です。先週の予選1組を制したのは陳健一でした。その相手となるのは果たして誰か。それでは早速予選2組を戦う鉄人を登場させましょう
solo ascent into the stadium comes Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. Since his debut in 93, Sakai's maintained the highest winning percentage of all the Iron Chefs. He's among the first to fuse Japanese techniques with French cooking. And for his artistic use of color in his presentation, he's been dubbed the Delacroix of French cuisine. And he's been darn near unbeatable when it comes to seafood. Morimoto versus Sakai, semi-final battle two. And the two chefs shake hands before descending the steps where they will go down to their respective sides of the kitchen. The chairman shortly to unveil the theme ingredient for the battle. And the men must be feeling some butterflies at this point moments away from semi-final two. お二人がこれまで一度も当たったことのないテーマを用意しました。料理を鮮やかに彩る、そして私も思わず生で感じてしまう大好きなあの野菜。それでは発表します。今日のテーマはこれです。If memory serves me right, the second battle of the King of Iron Chefs will see a clash between Morimoto and Sakai. For the loser, it will be the end of his career as an Iron Chef. For this pinnacle battle, Morimoto's slogan will be Focus. In the one and a half years as Iron Chef, I was often under a lot of pressure and even overwhelmed, to be honest. And I don't want to waste all that effort I put in. For that reason, I need total focus as I search for my origin as a chef during the battle. I'll give it my best. The goal of Iron Chef Sakai is clear and simple. He wants to be the king of Iron Chefs. To become king of all Iron Chefs will be my final diploma as I graduate as proof of my career. So, in that sense, in today's battle, I'd like to maintain my cool while boosting my fighting spirit uh, to the limit. Yeah. And, well, that's how I feel now. <laughs> Two Iron Chefs staking their careers. Iron Chef against Iron Chef. So now, Morimoto and Sakai, to reach the summit of this tournament, you will need all your skills and senses. The King of Iron Chef semi-final two. It's do or die time. Iron Chef Japanese Morimoto versus Iron Chef French Sakai clashing head on for the right to take on Iron Chef Chinese Chen for the crown. The chairman's favorite, his trademark bell peppers, a wild assortment is the theme. Who is going to move on? Arakizen! Bang a gong, we are on. And Sakai giving Morimoto a pat on the shoulder and the race is on. Both men dashing up to the stand to fill their trays with bell peppers, grabbing from among the several varieties up there. Semi-final two is underway. And today we have six types of bell peppers. All right, Doc, take us through them. All right, well, the red ones, which you see there, they are uh, kind of sweet, good for salads, eating raw, things okay. like that. The yellow ones are also sweet, yet a little bit tangy. Okay. And the green ones are, well, they're spicy and mainly cooked. Sure. And also they have the white, brown, and black ones. So all together, six types. And color considerations, Fukusan? the critical element? Definitely, yeah. Yes, Ota from the floor, go. Iron Chef Sakai has taken mostly red ones, and when I asked him why, he replied, hey, why not red is my lucky color? All right, he has loaded up <laughs> and is working at the start with the red ones. Lucky color, apron color too for the Iron Chef French. Mm -hmm. And right now, let's meet our guests for this bell pepper battle, semi-final two. We have actress Kyoko Maya and actor Kenya Kitoji. Thanks for coming in. Mm. Nice to be here. And of course, our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hatori. Always a privilege. Maya-san, your first time here. Yes. Well, what do you think of our kitchen? Everything's moving so fast, and I'm also impressed how clean the kitchen equipment is. Clean? Yeah, I guess it wouldn't hurt to clean my kitchen a little more. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's something a woman would notice. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. 
And Kitoji san, now you've tried both Morimoto's and Sakai's cooking before, right? Yes, I have. Well, can you give us any insight, any comparison between the two? Oh, wow, as far as today's judgment is concerned, it's going to be so tough. I mean, both men's foods are great. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, a few comments from Iron Chef Morimoto, who seemed to be inspired from watching Chen San in the last battle. He said, Chen San's almost invincible, but watching him from that distance, I really felt like I would like to challenge him. But obviously, before that, I have to win this one first. All right, thanks. And you saw a quick shot of Chen, winner of the first semifinal, sticking around to watch this one. And of course, Morimoto and Sakai were here to see Chen's win over Kobe. Fukuzan? Yes. I asked Iron Chef Sakai how he feels about this battle, which could be his last. And he replied, hey, I've come a long way. I've had 78 battles in which I have a good win-loss record. This could be it, but I'll try not to let that happen. I'm going to give it all I've got to survive and move on to the final match. Okay. And at the report of those determined words from Sakai, some cheering for him coming from his side of the royal box for the man who would be king, looking to be king of the Iron Chefs. But of course, he'll have to win to do that. And right there is our special viewing section we've set up for these final battles. Komei Nakamura, Yutaka Ishinabe, and also the legendary Roksaburo Michiba, honorary Iron Chefs all. And plus, the lady who always speaks her mind, Kazuko Hosoki, is here. And whoa, how about that flashy outfit today? Shinichiro Kurimoto. <laughs> He's all spiffed up for this one. And right now, let's see if we can get a few words with the first Iron Chef Japanese. Michiba-san, are you there? Yes, sir. With bell peppers today, what sort of dishes you think we'll see from these two Iron Chefs? Well, Sakai-san, as you know, has a long and impressive career as Iron Chef. So, uh, to me, this is like a young and unknown warlord going after an established, powerful warlord. Yes. That means, uh, as we look back in Japanese history, the young one could tip over the stronger one if Sakai-san takes it too easy. Uh, so, all I have to say is just uh, don't hold back. Well, you know, so interesting analogy. Don't, don't hold back. Sakai san, don't hold back. Got it. Yeah, we got it too. Okay. A history buff, Michiba, likes to refer to old battles in Japanese history for some of these fights. Yes. I asked Sakai san how he feels about his opponent, and he said, To tell you the truth, I didn't want to go against Morimoto san because he's so tricky. You can never tell what he'll be making. I can't read his mind, so it's hard to form a strategy. Yes, we all can agree with that. Versatility with ability, one of Morimoto's hallmarks. And Fukui san? Yes. Yeah, here on Iron Chef Sakai's uh, site, this deep dish has pan-fried lamb ribs seasoned with salt and pepper which he placed on a bed of thyme. He's also put garlic around that and has ladled a little uh, some consomme it looks like oh, over yes. the whole thing. Okay this one looking great already. Uh, what about it Maya-san? What do you think? Mm, yes the lamb looks as if it is ready already. And you know that garlic must add a nice aroma to it, I'm okay. sure. Okay and spreading the sauce right there moving toward the oven and it goes in. And now on Morimoto's side, go ahead. Iron Chef Morimoto pureed some boiled red bell peppers and is now straining them. All right, and there is the blended red bell pepper being strained. Did he grate them? I'm not sure. Okay, now checking out the royal box, Morimoto's side. There's his wife Keiko, who's flown in from New York for this one. Is that for a sauce? I think so, yeah. Okay, and to the right of her sits the head chef of Nobu Tokyo, Kenichiro Togo. And other staffers of the Nobu Tokyo restaurant have turned out in force to view this one. And over on Sakai's side of the royal box, of course, you've got a lot of folks from La Rochelle, his restaurant in Shibuya, and they are all hoping this is not his last battle. Fukuzan! Yes. Iron Chef Morimoto just got a message from his wife Keiko, and I quote, becoming number one among the Iron Chefs is more significant than becoming number one among Japanese restaurants in New York, and you like being number one, so go for it. <laughs> Keiko Morimoto back in her man to the hilt. Strong support from all the people up there, and Morimoto showing what he said he was going to do with laser-like focus. Fukuzan! Go. Yeah, over here on Iron Chef Sakai's side in this casserole dish, he's working on the bell peppers that we saw him grilling earlier. He has now peeled the skins off and removed the seeds. He's also added uh, fried onions to them as well as a little garlic so far. All right. Will he pour some of the sauce over this? Um, that could be, yeah, but what it's going to be, I'm not sure, though. Uh, the item we saw earlier could be an interesting mm -hmm, match mm -hmm. with this. Kuzan? Yes. Iron Chef Sakai tells me that his main dish today will be a stew recipe from southern France called ratatouille, often enjoyed in the summertime. Obviously, bell peppers will be the main ingredient in that dish, and I do believe that this one that you see now with the mushrooms in it is that dish. Okay, I see. Oh, Looks like a main dish there. Mm, I love food like this. All right, meantime, Morimoto mixing bowls, some flour, it looks like, in a doughy mix. What gives Kuzan? you? Kuzan? Yes. yes, that's right. This is a dough and it's a mixture of mashed potatoes and flour. Oh. Mashed potatoes and flour. See where he goes with this one. 
Chrisan. Yes. Iron Chef Sakai tells me his main dish today will be a stew recipe from southern France called ratatouille, often enjoyed in summer. Obviously, bell peppers will be the main ingredient in that dish. And I do believe that this one that you see now with the mushrooms in it is that dish. Okay, I see. All right, looks like a main dish. Mm -hmm. oh. I love food like this. All right, meantime, Morimoto mixing bowls, some flour, it looks like a doughy mix. Where's he going here? Yeah, that's right, this is a dough. Uh, it's a mixture of mashed potatoes and flour. Oh. Oh. Mashed potatoes okay. and flour. Mm -hmm. Here he goes with this one, but gonna lose the moisture content rather quickly there. Mm, right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fukuzan, this is red bell peppers. Okay, the bell pepper puree going in there, that'll boost the juice. And Fukuzan? Go ahead. Chen Kenichi says bell peppers are difficult to handle, and so will either Morimoto-san or Sakai-san be in the next battle, whoever wins that one, but I wish them both good luck. All right, we know Chen's in the final. One of these two will be knocked off, though, and I'd assume one difficulty, Kitoji, with the bell peppers comes from trying to make it the main player in the dishes. Oh, I would imagine so, yes. Kusan? Yes. Iron Chef Sakai just put a dish in the oven that we saw earlier, and now I have the entire list of ingredients for that dish as we watch the instant replay. Salt and peppered lamb ribs on a bed of thyme with pomegranate puree sauce and onions, grilled bell peppers, fried garlic, makomo mushrooms, zucchini, celery, veal broth, bacon, and to cap it all off, he has poured white wine over it before putting it in the oven. Wow, wow. boy, <laughs> incredible. What an assortment of ingredients mm. in that one. Fukuzan? Again, go ahead. Yeah, when I asked about today's theme, Morimoto-san, philosophically, it has never mattered what the theme is. I always prepare creations worthy of an Iron Chef, and I'm going to make sushi out of this one. Bell pepper sushi huh? could be has interesting. He lost his wow. mind? <laughs> sushi. Been to a sushi bar lately, ordered bell pepper sushi? <laughs> <laughs> so what he's uh, dealing with now then might be a sushi rice then? No, that can't be. Maybe it might be for a uh, how about here or something? As the rice for sushi? Oh, like in a right. soup? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, like, oh. Yes. Yeah, this is also from Iron Chef Morimoto, a mix of eggs, flour, and honey cooked on a hot plate. Well, looking like a giant crepe there covering the surface of that electric frying griddle. Hey, maybe he'll have a uh, breakfast special for one of his dishes. <laughs> and Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, about the gnocchi that you were talking about, Morimoto says, please don't call it that. I'm Iron Chef Japanese, so it's a sweet <laughs> All right. Notation <laughs> made. <laughs> sweet same thing. Thing, it's too but in Japanese. For a <laughs> Bell pepper seat tone. We stand corrected. Now, this is back on Sakai's side. He's got some ice around the terrine tray there. Fukuzan? Yes. I'm glad you mentioned this dish. I just happen to have the list of ingredients for it. This terrine mold holds red and yellow bell peppers, which were stewed in consomme and chilled in sherry vinegar. That's on the bottom. And on top, he's placed fried eggplants and crab meat. All right. And all the action there caught on the replay. So, a terrine in layers, almost like a meal few. Oh, right. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, more on the sushi from Iron Chef Morimoto, who says, I started out as a sushi chef, and without those skills, I wouldn't be standing here today. I can't talk about my career without referring to sushi. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. Okay. getting back to basics is Iron Chef Japanese Morimoto, and he's been working real and hard Fukuzan? throughout this one. Go. Yeah, one more thing, getting back to Iron Chef Sakai and his uh, terrine presentation, he says, hey, appearance counts a lot in class dining. I'm called the Delacroix of French cuisine, and I want to maintain that. All right, and thanks for cooling on ice. Now 30 minutes gone, 30 to go, crossing the halfway mark of the battle. The winner survives to battle Chen for the King of Iron Chef's crown. The loser goes home, and if it's Morimoto, it's a long way to New York. And now on the Iron Chef Japanese side, our marinade, I think, yes. Yeah, here Morimoto-san has added dashi, or Japanese broth, to red wine and soy sauce. Okay, and now something placed in there, soaking uh, yeah, it Yeah, that's a regular broth as well. Okay, wine, soy sauce, and broth. What is that red stuff here? That's bell pepper. Perhaps for the sushi then? Oh, okay. Okay, really? Oh, oh I get bell it. Bell pepper right. sushi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So You're he's right. marinating the banana. Mm -hmm. Okay. But duck, I, it almost looks wow. like tuna. Wow. Great in appearance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it does. Kusa? Yes. Yeah, when Iron Chef Sakai overheard that Morimoto is trying to make sushi, he shouted, That's what Morimoto is all about. He always goes beyond the norm of Japanese cooking. I feel like I'm fighting Michiba san here. Man, he is so unpredictable. All right, thanks for the report, big fella, and Michiba getting a chuckle out of that. And as far as we can tell, it's it'll be a nigiri-style sushi. But you know, I see dried seaweed there. Up, oh, yep, you're right. So, okay, well, he's making it difficult again to figure out. Should have out. stopped while I was ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a screen for rolled sushi now, Yeah, for see? sushi roll. Well, that huh? means he could have various types, roll and nigiri Two both. types. Mm -hmm. Wait and see. Now, Morimoto's mm -hmm. got a pot on the stove boiling away. Yes. Iron Chef Morimoto has mixed broth, sugar, and soy sauce 
sauce for stewing brown bell peppers. All right, we've oh. got that now, like a uh, compio there. So well, dried gourd that? shavings in. Oh, that's it. And it took his time to make sense. Yes, yeah, so it's Staying with Iron Chef Morimoto, I asked him to tell us more about his sushi, and he replied that bell peppers have a subtle sweetness to them, and I think the sweetness goes well with vinegared rice or sushi rice. You're just going to have to trust me on this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't doubt Morimoto. Way to go. <laughs> 20 minutes to go. Okay, if you look at Sakai-san now, he's making pudding. All right, over there with the assistance. Kuzan. Yes. Yeah, it looks like Iron Chef Sakai will be using pike eel for one of his dishes. Sakai, pike eel from out of nowhere. Oh, what? Wow. I'm starting to get lost here. <laughs> <laughs> Aishinabe san, can you help us out with what's going on here? Mm, this is really interesting to watch. Morimoto san is cranking out new recipes one after another. And on the other hand, Sakai-san is using Japanese techniques as well. And in the pudding, I bet he's using pike eel for that. This one here? Yes, uh, this is uh, very and intriguing. And Sakai's now cutting up the pike eel. And you know, if you remember the pike eel battle when he did this, he right. was really skilled, oh, yes. right? He used a small knife, so he's got a lot of experience, obviously, just a master in seafood preparation. Virtually unbeatable in seafood themes. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, I asked Iron Chef Sakai specifically why pike eel, and he said, man, I don't know. Do I have to tell you everything? I guess I just wanted everyone to see that I'm pretty good at this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You got that right. <laughs> Simple filet is so boring. <laughs> oh, playing to the crowd in some tension release there. And Michiba-san, are, are you there? Yes, Can, sir. Uh, the way this battle's turning out, is this what you thought you'd be seeing today from these guys? No, I still don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> He's lost as well. Welcome to the club. <laughs> I tell you, it's not just the pike eel. I, I guess Sakai-san is trying to use all his skills today in uh, what could possibly be his, uh, you know, his final battle. Yes, you may be right about that. Uh. Now, are those peanuts in the stew? Yeah, I see this stew, I wonder. Yes. Yeah, let me just reconfirm the ingredients in this stew. Minced onions, grilled bell peppers, garlic, fried makoma mushrooms, zucchini, celery, veal broth, bacon, and peanuts, as well as olive oil. Mm. Okay, I thought those were peanuts. Mm -hmm. Maya-san, a very dynamic-looking dish here mm. by Iron Chef Sakai. Absolutely. And, oh, it's back. The lamb is back. I was wondering where that lamb went, actually. <laughs> well, wonder no more. <laughs> Let me just reconfirm the ingredients in this stew. Minced onions, grilled bell peppers, garlic, fried makoma mushrooms, zucchini, celery, veal broth, bacon, and peanuts, as well as olive oil. I thought those were peanuts, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Maya Sal, a very dynamic looking dish here by Iron Chef Sakai. Mm, absolutely, and oh, it's back, the lamb is. I was wondering where that lamb went. Wonder you know? no more, there <laughs> it is, yes. Back on Iron Chef Morimoto's side, there are some interesting things happening. He seems to be making bell pepper jam. He pureed some red bell peppers, then added sugar to them to make jam. That's right. Right, bell pepper jam? It looks like it. What? <laughs> could this go together with the dough? It could be, yeah. You mean the, the crepe right. that he had? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Fifteen minutes to go. Go ahead, 15 minutes left, yes. Yep, thank you. Staying with Morimoto-san for a moment. He's begun to grate his wasabi, so I guess that means it's time to start making sushi. All right, baby, <laughs> it is showtime. <laughs> yes. Oh, here he comes. Sushi master uh, Morimoto. Oh. And there you have it, a world first bell pepper sushi. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Hey, it doesn't look half bad. You know, if this was tuna, you'd call it top quality. Look at that. <laughs> exactly, bright red, you know. <laughs> Yeah, the color is amazing. It's also nice and shiny. It's Very awesome. appealing. And you know, and the way it looks, just draped on the rice there, it looks exactly like tuna sushi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know, the idea and the color scheme here are great, but um, I have no idea how Hosoki San's going to react to this. I, I'm waiting to hear what she says about this one. Yeah. I mean, okay, now, oh, here's Sakai, and he's got the terrine, and it's out of oh, the mold. The terrine, you're right. Yeah. Slicing through right there. Uh -huh. What do you think? A mm, little right. soft, maybe. Didn't firm up? Mm, that's what he's saying. Oh, no. All right, so a little softer than what he wanted. You needed more time, maybe, on that. But it does look nice right there. Oh, oh, beautiful. Go. Iron Chef Morimoto has prepared brown bell peppers as compio mm. to be rolled in sushi rice. Mm -hmm. All right, so we did call that one. So if you haven't got any dried gourds at your house, just use bell peppers. That'll work. <laughs> well, no one's ever tried that yet. <laughs> Good point. Okay, <laughs> we don't yes. know. <laughs> Something looking very Chinese is finished on Morimoto-san's side. Fried white bell peppers cradling ground pork, which was stir-fried in tin min john sauce, hot bean paste, broth, and oyster sauce. Hmm, oh. something the Iron Chef Chinese Africa might have tried, yes. Yeah, meanwhile, Iron Chef Sakai seems satisfied with his tureen. He says it's close to what it should be in terms of hardness, and it's so beautiful, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is, but uh, 
feeling a little let down by the result. The pressure's on, but Sakai's been there before. And Maya-san, these pros, they can do a great job oh, at presentation. Absolutely, so skillful. Now look at Sakai here. Oh, wow. See that? It's like a double in there. Uh -huh. Right on top of the Royale. So maybe he'll be steaming this once again? Yes. Yeah, just now Iron Chef Sakai was putting the finishing touches on his pike yield dish. The sauce that he poured over this is a mix of consomme and kudzu starch. Hmm. Oh, so this could be finished already then. All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, now look at Morimoto's side here if we can get a shot of this. Okay, get back there, the sea tone. Oh, yeah. It's so pretty. And that, uh, so this means what? How, how will he finish this one? Uh, serving them in that pot, perhaps. Yes. Here on Iron Chef Morimoto's side, he appears to be preparing a pot for shabu shabu, shabu, shabu. which contains peanut oil, sake, soup, salt, green chili, and many different bell peppers. Mm. Back to you. Okay, I get it. So the sweet on itself is going to be eaten shabu shabu style. All right. And now less than five minutes to go, and here's the bell pepper jam being spread down onto the crepe. Morimoto still working at a fever pitch in this battle. Oh, oh, it's the dessert. Should be, yes. Oh. Okay. Oh, right. A thick crepe? Yeah, it definitely has to be a dessert. Uh -huh. oh, I'm still wondering. Make sure now this is the bell pepper jam. Yes, it is. Okay, that's it's confirmed. It's going to be on, as you said, I think. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, oh right. my, look. What's he what doing? What happened? What happened there? Huh? I think he wanted it, it softer, soft. but it looks hard, doesn't it? The, the crepe was too hard. Yeah, uh-huh. But he's not going to give up on it. He'll probably think of a different way to use he'll this. He'll have to go to plan B on this one. Yeah, yeah he'll definitely know. find some other way to, to use it. Uh-huh. All right, three minutes to go, and now they are up in the Royal Box on both sides of the stadium. Morimoto's entourage, mostly from Nobu, Tokyo, including his wife. Sakai's crowd is from his La Rochelle restaurant. Sakai's got the experience, but as Michiba noted earlier, Morimoto more than capable of pulling off the upset, which would end Sakai's Kuzan. efforts to be king of the Iron Chefs. Yes. Iron Chef Morimoto is having an aperitif prepared on his side, which is made of yellow bell pepper puree, soda, and vodka. Sounds good and looks good, too. Mm. And over on Sakai's side, is that foie gras they've now added? Yeah, he added some foie gras to that as well. Mm, right. Right there, zooming Fukuzan. in. His main mm, dish, yes. go. Iron Chef Sakai tells me he's feeling great with less than three minutes left. The main dish, his stew, turned out well. The tureen is now okay. All that remains is the dessert, and everything will be perfect. He says, I'm going to win for sure. Well, Michiba-san, <laughs> what about it? Whose cuisine will reign supreme? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good luck, you two. <laughs> Diplomacy, the best policy. Thank you, sir. And now a minute left. The final 60 seconds ticking down in the second semifinal on the road to the King of Iron Chefs. Chairman Kaga presenting the item he's most closely associated with. Bell Peppers is the theme for Sakai and Morimoto to fight it out for the right to take on Chen in the final match. It's been a non-stop power drive for both Iron Chefs. Sakai's got the highest winning percentage in Iron Chef history, but you can throw that out of the kitchen. It doesn't mean a thing for what he needs to accomplish here to win and move on. Morimoto, who cares about being number one in New York? He doesn't. He's desperately fighting to end up number one in this cook-off, the ultimate of cook-offs. The winner advances, the loser goes home, having fought in Kitchen Three, Stadium for the last two, time. A nation one. and Chen wait to see who it'll be, and that's it. The cooking's done. The Bell Pepper Battle Semi-Final 2 is over. So did you think it went as you planned? Skill-wise, I can't beat Sakai-san. So I thought hard how I could accentuate the sweetness of the bell peppers while trying to emphasize the texture in the shabu-shabu, all trying to be unique and quite different um, from Sakai-san. And you were proud of your sushi in particular. Yes, I began as a sushi chef, yeah. Okay, let's hear it. Do you think you can win? Whether I win or lose, it doesn't matter. How did the time go? Well, after doing this for six years, I still feel one hour is uh, quite short. Uh huh. And this time, I knew this could be the last. Right. So, I tried to give everything I had. I think I was relaxed, uh, but I got overly excited in the latter part. And you just can't lose this one. Right? Well, the results, whatever they may be, I'll have to accept them humbly. I uh, accept it and just move on in life. Iron Chef Morimoto is offering six dishes, beginning with bell pepper cocktail, yellow bell pepper puree mixed with vodka and soda. Bell pepper chawanmushi. This broth-based custard finds a surprising harmony between the sweetness of fresh cream and the slight bitterness of bell pepper. 
Bell pepper sticks with meat and miso. Fried white bell peppers stuffed with meat and miso, seasoned with tenmen john, hot bean paste, and oyster sauce. Fourth, bell pepper sweet tone shabu shabu. The sweet tone, or Japanese style gnocchi with red bell peppers is, in a word, awesome. The unique texture brings an intriguing angle to Japanese cuisine, and the crispiness of thinly sliced bell peppers for the soup is delightful, a real eye-opener for the tasters. Bell pepper sushi, Morimoto making sushi, but only as he can, imitating marinated tuna with red bell pepper strips and kampyo for rolls with brown bell peppers. He even made a chopped ginger-like garnish with white bell peppers. He's the only one who could pull this off. Last is Japanese flavor tart. With the crepe having ended up too hard, he went to plan B and turned it into a tart using the red bell pepper jam. Iron Chef Sakai came up with five dishes. First, red bell pepper mousse and tomato coulis. It's a straightforward appetizer, fully condensing the essence of red bell peppers. Bell pepper and crab meal few. A well-executed idea with red and yellow bell peppers adding the artistic color touch by the Delacroix of French cuisine. It also has wonderful balance. Bell Pepper Royale with Pike Eel, Sakai's A-game, packaging bell peppers in a noble royale, which results in a superb union with Pike Eel. Fourth is Bell Pepper Ratatouille. It's a variation of a southern French recipe, making bell peppers the central element in this gorgeous looking dish. The bell peppers surpass even the roast lamb and sauteed foie gras. Last is Bell Pepper Dessert. The almost melting caramelized bell peppers add just an extra touch of sweetness to the ice cream. The King of Iron Chef's Tournament, it's semi-final battle two. Japanese cuisine never static in this man's hands, Iron Chef Japanese Masaharu Morimoto against the man with Kitchen Stadium's highest winning percentage, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. And with great delight, Chairman Kaga makes it personal, unveiling the theme ingredient, an assortment of bell peppers. Morimoto stays focused, right to the end, delivering six dishes. Sakai's assignment, just win. He'll try to through his five. And now, the moment of truth, tasting and judgment for semifinal two. On the panel for this one are lower house member Shinichiro Kurimoto, actress Kyoko Maya, Actor Kinya Kitaoji, fortune teller Kazuko Hosoki, and honorary Iron Chef Roksaburo Michiba. First, the dishes of Iron Chef Morimoto. I tried to be unique in this. Oh, yes. Mm. Yes, they were all different. You know, people who dislike bell peppers could enjoy this. The yellow ones are so soft and good. And the green ones, they still have just a hint of veggie in them. What I learned from this was uh, the topping. He used red and yellow bell pepper slices, you know. I know a lot of chefs could mimic this after seeing this thing. You know? It's good. It's good. And easy to uh. eat. Okay, moving on to the shabu shabu, first with the thinly sliced bell peppers. Just slightly cooked. The texture and flavor is great. Matches well with hot seasoning. I'm impressed with your imagination. But you know, the soup was a bit too salty. Too salty. It has to do with the volume, yeah. perhaps. The volume, I agree. Yes, with the less soup, it would have been wonderful. Fantastic. Yes. And now the sweet tone is being readied. We'll see how this goes over. This is from the red bell pepper. Wow. It's all natural. Great Asian ethnic food. Mm. At first, it was very hot for me. So after dipping the sweet tone, I let it cool off a bit, and it was so good. In conventional Japanese cooking, you never get soup this spicy. Right. Most of them are subtle. So they're alone. This is a new recipe. A new breeze, I oh, call yeah. it. Yes, I like this a lot. It was very good. え、まさかね、お寿司が出るとは思いませんでしたけど。あ、カンピョとマグロと。はい。まあ、ガリですよね。Yes, right. All bell peppers. 
Hmm. Far better than it looks. <laughs> Does it look that bad to you? It's visually appealing as well. But it tastes so good, yeah? Yeah, this is very, very good. The red bed pebbles are so nice. Marinating it was a trick. A natural sweetness spreads in my mouth. You know, some might say that this is better than uh, tuna sushi. Bell pepper sushi? I'm having this for the first time. Once again, I learned a lot. Thank you, Iron Chef. <laughs> oh, boy. Please stop, sir. That's too much. All his dishes were unique, and I felt his care that he put into the dishes, and I felt the care, I think. And now the dishes of Iron Chef Sakai. Yes, yes. I love vegetables. Bell peppers mean a lot here. It's fun tasting the layers of flavors in order. And another thing, it was beautiful. This is a dish that should be framed. It was visually an artistic piece as well, you know. I think you're a better artist than Delacroix, don't you? <laughs> oh, please. Yeah. He used the blessings of nature in a very pure way and controlled the flavors very cleverly. I ate every bite, not a worry in my mind, calm and content, a very natural dish. I let the soup absorb the aroma of the bell peppers in cooking this dish. The pike eel is seen in center, but the real core of this dish is hiding in the flavor. After the light flavor of the pike eel, we get the powerful taste of the bell peppers. Very nice. This is so sensitive. Mm, like a pianissimo in music, you know? I'm at a loss for words. Now, at Michiba-san, you're an old man, so you should appreciate this the most, right? It's delicious. Sakai will now serve his bell pepper ratatouille. Yes, this is a traditional local dish called ratatouille, which I rearranged just a little bit. I feel the bell peppers. This is the best. It's so great. Now, I could live with bell peppers added to this. It's so nicely used here. And you know, the other ingredients are just so perfect, too. Ah. In my opinion, I think the bell peppers speak up more than the lamb in this dish. <laughs> I think the bell peppers really do their job here. He grasped the personality of bell peppers and packaged them beautifully in his dishes. I never got tired of them. Yeah, me either. Mm, I enjoyed them to the very last dish. And you know, I've had eight glasses of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I know both chefs so well, so uh, no ties allowed. That's why I've been drinking so much today here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michiba-san, glass down, pen in hand, make the call. Who will move on? Saikyo <laughs> Tetsujin. What a day! One semi-final in the books and now semi-final two. The dishes by both men. Truly creative, truly artistic, world-class output. Iron Chef Morimoto, his focus couldn't have been any sharper than it was during his 60 minutes of cooking. Iron Chef Sakai, never as determined, never as hungry for a win than today. He'd throw away all the others for this one. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Sakai Hiroiki! It's Sakai! A heart-stopping moment! High drama! The verdict delivered by Chairman Kaga! But it is Sakai, the Iron Chef French, besting Morimoto and advancing to the final match against Chen. Unbelievable! What a battle, this second semi-final, and what a relief it appears for the Iron Chef French and the emotions coming to the fore. All right, the scores. Kurimoto, 20 to 19 Sakai, Maya, 20 to 19 Sakai, Kitoji, 20 to 19 Sakai, Hosoki, 20 to 19 Sakai, Michiba, 20 to 18 Sakai. It's a five nothing sweep and a perfect 100 points. Sakai comes through big time. Oh, what a job today, and he has made it to the final match.
He'll be going against this man. The matchup for the final, Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi against Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. The two veteran Iron Chefs will be the ones getting it on for the King of Iron Chef's crown. It's gonna be out of this world. If memory serves me right, the winners of the two semifinals were Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi and Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. These two will clash head on in the final battle. One can only imagine what performances and creations they will show us in this final battle. The winner, the King of Iron Chefs, will challenge a world-renowned chef in the final showdown. September 24th, the grand finale of the Kitchen Stadium. The historical battles are coming soon. So, my Iron Chef fans, be prepared to shiver and shed tears of excitement when you watch the grand finale of the Kitchen Stadium.